gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, he is a third generation rising star and member of the Samoan dynasty, weighing in at 225 pounds, battling out of the island of Samoa. He is Lance, the future. Same charisma, just oozing from Austin Gunn like his father. Or Lance Anawaii has that very stoic business and game face on. As we are set for action here, our legacy battle at high stakes. sure what this is all about. So he's trying to play some mind games here. Not the traditional Samoan strategy, but I guess this is a new generation. From what I understand, this is a first time matchup, so not a lot of familiarity with your opponent. Don and Anawaii lock it up here in the center of the ring. 
Both pretty similar in stature. The forearm dragon twist applied by Austin Gunn. Cinches in that top wrist lock. Trying to gain some leverage right here. Turns it right into the hammer lock. Nicely done. Getting some good torque there on that wrist. Right back into the side headlock. And a takedown by Lance Anawaii. Actually yielded a near fall. Senior official Randy Eller right there on the spot in great ring positioning. Both men back to a vertical base here. And Hawaii backs Gunn into the ropes. Sends him for a ride. And the power of Austin Gunn drives him down with the shoulder tackle. And I guess Lance and Hawaii just bought a ticket to the gun show. Once again, slowing the pace down, collecting his thoughts. He does have more experience than Austin Gunn, so he knows what to do when the situation doesn't favor him. Lance back in the ring now. Nice go behind, grabs the waist lock. Gun trying to get low and create that low leverage base. Into the standing switch. And Hawaii trying to break it up. It looks like Gun's fingers are not locked. And he catches him with a big back elbow. That's going to stun Austin right here. Off the ropes, he goes. And Lance and Hawaii takes down Austin Gun with that shoulder tackle. Bit of a tit for tat right there. Some trash talking to boot. Ducks underneath the clothesline. And a deep arm drag takedown by Austin Gunn. Plants him with a scoop slam. Goes for the quick cover, hooks the leg. Heads up move there by Austin Gunn. As Anna Wai once again has had enough. Time, Austin Gunn appears to create a bit of momentum. Lance Anawaii cuts it right off. And whether you like the strategy or not, you have to give him credit for derailing the momentum of Austin Gunn. Anawaii back in the ring now. Ducks underneath the clothesline once again. And he catches him with a knee right to the kisser. Blasts him right there. Rolls him over, hooks that inside leg. Two. And a two and a half for Lance Anawaii. And this crowd here really trying to get into this match and rally around Austin Gunn. A little punchy here is the youngest gun. Anna Wai looks to capitalize now. And that knife edge chop resonates all throughout stage 954 inside the casino at Dania Beach. Beautiful facility here. Very privileged to bring Gangrel's Wrestling Asylum's first event outside the school right here in the form of high stakes. And there's some certain high stakes bragging rights here between the Gun and Anna Wai family. As Lance taking advantage right now. Continuing to go back to work on Austin Gunn, not letting up, and you can see the difference there. When Austin Gunn's on offense, Lance is able to take him out of his rhythm. When Lance is dishing out the punishment, Austin Gunn, at this point at least, in no man's land. Anawaii charges in, and connects with that big splash in the corner. And we know if there was another Anawaii the old Rikishi special. And that one right there, paying tribute to the late great Umaga. Another member of the family. I want to talk about paying tribute here. 
Not the people's elbow, but he turns it right into a standing moonsault too. Oh, is that three? I thought referee Randy Eller's hand hit the mat for a third time. Austin Gunn is able to slip that shoulder up at about two and seven eighths. Lance in Hawaii certainly has a gripe, but nonetheless, this match will indeed continue. now will have to go back to the drawing board and figure out what's next as he's trying to close this match up out he might be taking too much time here as Austin Gunn in the near side corner he charges in he moves out of the way heads up move there by Austin Gunn it might have been even desperation but nonetheless he's still alive here and the double clothesline Gunn is down and Hawaii is down the legacies hanging in the balance here at high stakes. As Austin Gunn now trying to crawl to the ropes. Lance and Hawaii go in the opposite direction. Both men up to their knees trying to pull themselves to a vertical base here. They're both back on their feet and Austin Gunn connects with the first blow. A series of closed lines here. Ducks underneath one for Lance and Hawaii. Oh, and Hawaii reverses course. And that thrust kick right to the midsection. He's got him up now. Fireman scary position. Gun pushes him off the ropes. And that exploding hip lock takeover. One, two, three. That's going to do it. page out of his father's playbook for the offensive attack and it's enough to put Lance and Hawaii down for the one two three and Austin Gunn wins his GWA debut Back in the ring is Austin Gunn tells him to come right on back. And you wonder what this is about. And these two embrace. You see that sign of mutual respect right there. Things got a little heated once the bell rang. But it's all about the legacies here. You see that sign of respect there from Lance and Hawaii. And traditional pre match ceremony. His father used to do. But a big win for Austin Gunn as he's setting the pace when later tonight in our main event, it's his father Billy Gunn teaming with the Vampire Warrior Gangrel to take on the Headbangers. A whole lot left to come here at High Stakes. <laughs>